What is up? How have you been? That's the true question. What you been up to? Yeah. How your life been going? Yeah. So for me personally, when it comes to having a relationship with God, I started in church at a very young age. I say about fourth grade, fifth grade. And my experience with church, my first experience with church was from my memory was being a little girl and I was about in the fourth grade. I remember climbing a tree and it would be this van because we lived up the street from a house. I mean, from a church. And so I believe if I'm not mistaken, this church during that time was holiness. I'm thinking, but the way I can remember it being was all of the women, they weren't African-American like me. They were white women. And then they had the long hair and the long skirts. Somebody told me, what denomination it is, but I just forgot. But I remember, you know, living on the street from that style church, and it was a woman that would come by. It was a woman that would come by and drive by, and she would see me early in the morning in my tree because I, I'm telling y'all, I was a tomboy. Your girl like being outside. I like climbing trees. I used to talk to myself. Still do. <laughs> Still do. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm in a tree. And she finally stops and she rolls down the window and she was like, would you like to come to church with me? And mind you, like I said, I'm in the fourth grade. And so I was like, yeah, I made it my duty to make sure I was up, honey. I was up. I let my mom and my daddy know. They just so happened to knew the woman, made sure I was up, went to church. I was the only black girl there. <laughs> In fact, she didn't even she didn't even come pick me up because I'm telling y'all, we literally stayed up the street from this church so all i had to do was ride my bicycle down and i remember riding my bicycle down i was the only little black girl in the and instead of going to children church i actually ended up coming into the where the adults were inside of the congregation and they were singing hymn, hymns and you know and so the woman that had stopped days prior and asked me would i like to come to church she actually ended up coming in and getting me and then i went to children's church and so that was my first encounter with church and even knowing just a little bit about God and so it went from there by the time I was in the fifth grade during this time my stepdad he ended up getting burnt and so he was involved in the accident on his job ended up getting burnt I think like 45 50 percent of his body from head to toe and so we're well, head to ankle and we ended up having to go stay with an aunt and prior to him getting hurt we did go to church every now and again because my mama, she really wasn't into going to church. We probably went to funerals. And that was the only time we would go to church to the point where <laughs> when we first started going to church, all we had was black and white. Because you was only going to catch us in the house of the Lord when somebody done transitioned, when somebody done died. Yeah, my dad ended up getting hurt. Fast forward. Ended up staying with a great aunt during this time for three months. We was with our great aunt. And she kept us in church. And so that seed was planted in me then. I'm trying to make it real sweet and short. But that seed was planted in me then. And my dad ended up getting, and my stepdad ended up getting released from the hospital. We was reunited with my mom and my dad. You know, went through that transition. And out of all of the children, I was the one that continued to go to church after that. And so I would ride to church with my great aunt. She would come pick me up, and it had got to the point was, well, that was my girl. Like, we went to union meetings because I come from a traditional um, missionary Baptist church. And so she would have me at the union meetings. She would have me, well, union meetings, Bible studies, uh, going in homes, praying for people, the whole nine yards. Like, I, I stayed with my auntie. Like, we would visit churches on Sundays after we got out of church because, yeah, she loved the Lord that much. And one of my favorite parts was eating the food. <laughs> hey, some baked chicken. I don't know. Have you ever had baked chicken from a southern mother? That baked chicken hit different. And so I really, I enjoyed going for the food also, but I stayed under my auntie. That seed was planted in me at a very early age. I stayed in church with her all the way up until my junior year of high school.